Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a handwriting effect using path stroke animation. By the end, you'll have an animation that looks like text is being written by hand. Let's jump right in. First, open Xyris and create a new blank design. You'll want to set your canvas size to 800 by 600 pixels or any size that works for your animation. Then give your design a name, something like handwriting animation works well. Now let's create our text path. If you find it helpful, you can import a raster image of the text you want to animate. For example, you can use the word hello. This image will just serve as a guide for tracing, but if you prefer, you can skip this step and draw the text path yourself using the pen tool. This gives you more flexibility to customize the style of your text. For best results, make sure all snapping options are disabled. When you're ready, select the pen tool from the drawing toolbar and start tracing the outline of each letter. Don't stress if the path isn't perfect just yet. You can refine it later using the node tool. Simply select the path and adjust the points and curves until it looks smooth. Once your path is traced, delete the raster image. Now you should have a clean vector path that represents your text. Select your text path to reveal the top toolbar. Choose your stroke color and stroke width. Before we animate, let's quickly go over three important concepts. Dash array. This defines the pattern of dashes and gaps along your path. To simulate handwriting, we'll use a single dash value that spans the entire path. Dash offset. This controls where the dash pattern starts. By animating this value, we create the illusion of the stroke being drawn. Logical path length. Xyrus doesn't calculate the exact length of your path. Instead, you'll pick a logical value to represent the path length. For example, a value of 100 works well, and everything else, dash array and dash offset, will be based on this number. Now I'm going to adjust the values to see what happens. It's a good idea to experiment with different dash array and dash offset values to understand how they affect the stroke animation. This way, you'll get a better feel for how they work before you finalize your settings. Next, let's animate the dash offset. Select your shape and click the Add Animation tool. From the dropdown, choose Stroke and then Dash Offset. Now you'll see the dash offset animation appear in the timeline. For the start keyframe, set the value to your logical path length, 100. For the end keyframe, set the value to zero. This will give the effect of the stroke being drawn over time. To preview your animation, press space or click the play button on the playback bar. If you have multiple words or lines, you'll need to adjust the animations so they play in sequence. For instance, if you added the word world after hello, add a keyframe at 100 for the start, 100 at the end of hello, and 0 for the last keyframe. Now let's make sure your stroke looks polished. You might notice that the two endpoints of the stroke are square. This is because the default stroke line cap is square, which doesn't always look natural for a handwriting effect. To improve the appearance, change the line cap to round. This makes the endpoints of the stroke look smoother and more natural, like the end of a pen stroke. You may also need to tweak the dash array and dash offset values. Sometimes, a small circle appears at the start of the animation. To fix this, set the dash array to a larger value, like 102, and adjust the start keyframe value of the dash offset to 103. One of the great things about Xyrus is that everything is saved automatically, so you don't need to worry about saving your design manually. Once you're satisfied with the animation, export it as an SVG or a video file to share with others, 
or use in different designs. Congratulations! You've just created a handwriting effect in Xyris using logical path length values. Feel free to experiment with different words, fonts, and timings to perfect your animations. And if you're ready for more creative ideas, stay tuned for the next tutorial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out.